Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the scene tarot. Hope you guys can hear me. I'm using a different mic today. Sorry about the late uploads, but I thought this would be better due to lack of people using the internet. I do have a good company, but I don't know what's going on, you guys. It's just, you know, internet these days. I don't know why it's slow, but I had so much problems doing videos yesterday. But let's get into your read. This is for Scorpio singles. How are you guys doing? So let's see what the major energy that is going on for you, Scorpio. If it does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And also, guys, know this is a general, so it's not going to resonate for every Scorpio out there. So take what resonate and throw out the rest. All right. Um, let's get into your energy and see what's going on. <clears throat> for Scorpio singles, I feel like I'm going to need to eat, eat my candy real quick, okay, my hauls, because, you know, we do a lot of talking <laughs> in these <laughs> in these readings, and my throat is acting up, I don't know, it's, you know, the weather is changing outside, and then I have allergies as well, so it's like every time I'm like <laughs> choking, <laughs> all right, so... Let's see. Let's see what's your energy, Scorpio. I'm already feeling some kind of justice here. I'm already feeling like there is some kind of like discussion that's going to happen with an energy. For some of you, I'm seeing Aquarius. For some of you, I'm seeing Libra. Um, energy, something to do with a conversation where you feel is hopeful. I'm also getting that there is some kind of um, chatter chatter going on behind your back, Scorpio. This could be at work because I'm seeing Aries in reverse. This could be a manager, someone higher in rank at your job other, other than you. I feel like this person is very hard to work with, very difficult, very controlling. I feel like this person wants to have power over you. They have this power um, struggle when it comes to their position. I feel like I'm hearing I am this you know, manager and you have to come through me before dealing with this or doing this. You have to ask permission all the time. I feel like this is an energy where they don't allow you to be creative or to manage yourself. Um, and you're having a really difficult time with this energy, okay? But I'm seeing opportunities coming for you, Scorpio. I'm seeing like there is going to be three opportunities. I'm seeing that you're going to have to choose. This might be a little bit of distance from where you live. I'm seeing that you might have to relocate for those of you. And this is going to be like you're really thinking about this. I'm feeling like this should happen in like three months, okay? I'm also feeling like there is some kind of truth that's going to re be revealed, going back to seeing the justice in my head, okay? And feeling like there's some, some kind of justice that's going to be revealed, some kind of truth that's been hidden, because I'm hearing this chatter, 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 like gossip situation. Like somebody is trying to tell lies, and somebody's trying to warn you about it. And I feel like this is this is this manager, this um person, okay? So tell me about this, angels. Tell me about Scorpio singles. What's going on? What's going on for Scorpio singles? Scorpio singles. All right, so we see the Queen of Cups. All right, so Scorpio, I'm seeing like there is going to be this connection. Someone very trustworthy. It could be a Scorpio like yourself, um, a Pisces, a Cancer that is coming to you. I feel like this is going to be um, someone that you can open up to, someone that you can trust. I feel like this is going to be like, um, this could be a new friendship or even a new love that's coming into your life. Tell me about this yeah it's a new beginning look at this wow this is gonna happen very quickly for you with this ace of wands being here a new beginning for you very fireful look at this person is highly attracted towards you this is what i'm hearing and they're giving you this offer so look out for scorpio cancer pisces energy they could have a lot of um fire sign in their chart as well Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. 
Okay, tell me more for Scorpio singles, please. Any messages for Scorpio singles? I'm seeing um, that justice again. Something about um, the scales of being balanced. Okay. Okay. Six of Wands. Scales being balanced. Tell me about this, please. All right, so you have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Tell me more. You have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like this person that's coming through that was unfair to you, this is a past energy. Um, and I feel like this is a new energy. So those of you singles are going to meet someone that is highly passionate, very sensitive, okay? But I feel like they're going to be sensitive to your emotions as well. I feel like a lot of you cancers are your your um your match and when i do look at the queen of um cups i do see a cancer basically but it could be a scorpio like yourself or a pisces or a cancer but i feel like that's a new energy coming into your life but the past energy is something that you're letting go from someone that lied to you betrayed you someone that kept you in the past and kept you in your head i feel like even today you still don't know the truth when it comes to this person and I'm also seeing the Page of Pentacles with this person in reverse. So this person has had a difficult time even starting up their life since you. Like, if you met, if you've seen this person again or even tried to connect with them, they're at the same place that you left them. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm seeing here. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus energy. Someone that is kind of like in the opposite of what they are. They're having this like difficult time trying to find out who they are as a person and what they want. So this person could be like not trustworthy, like you can't trust them. They're not down to earth. They're not, you know, someone that you can build a legacy with at this moment. I feel like this person is like, want to just have fun, you know, want to live off of other people broke. And I feel like you are all about this person for you to be in the eight of wands, feeling really tied up, can't leave this person. Like you don't know if you should or you shouldn't. But you had to force yourself to do this. You had to leave. You know, you had to leave the situation. Okay, so, because I'm seeing you freeing yourself with this Eight of Swords from this Page of Pentacles. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more. All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. And then we have the Empress. Okay. For some of you, be very careful with this because I'm seeing like the Nine of Pentacles, you're going to lose a lot. Um, a lot of you are not protecting yourself when it comes to this energy or when it comes to this relationship. A lot of you are just doing it unprotected, okay? And the, you don't have a title. You don't know what's going to happen between you and this person. Now, for singles, you don't. this doesn't have to be love. This could also be a relationship that is just not fulfilling for you. You can trust this person. This could be a motherly figure because this is a feminine card, okay? So it could be a motherly figure, someone that is a female, or it could be a male figure that you're dealing with that is just very highly emotional and just not afraid to tell you how they feel, right? So keep that in mind. And this could be someone that you have or are going to have a child with because look at the empress holding a child, you guys. So be very, very careful with this energy. And also, you guys, you're going to be, you're not going to gain anything from this. You're realizing that you're losing everything that you are trying to accomplish or it's even being harder to try to accomplish this with this person. I feel like the angels are trying to tell you, like, if anything, you need to take a step back and really look within yourself because you're, I just feel like You're coming off as someone that is very stable here in the Empress. Like you're supposed to be living this luxurious life and just living very comfortably because I'm seeing like your angels, like they're supposed to give you this, this, this blessing, right? You're supposed to be living this energy and this person with you and this person together, you're just losing, losing a lot of money, losing a lot of time. And when it comes to building a legacy, you're losing a lot. 
you're not gaining anything. And this is how I'm feeling here. And a lot of you might just end up stuck with this person. And I feel like you need to watch it because this is what you didn't want. You were, you're freeing yourself. And those of you, you're freeing yourself and then you find out something that you don't want to find out about having a child with someone that you don't really care about, right? So let's see here. Tell me more about this. Thank you. Tell me more about this. Thank you, angels. For Scorpio. Wow, you have the Three of Pentacles. Cards always fall in for me. All right, let me get this because these are so many cards that fell, Scorpio. Honestly, sorry guys. Okay, so I'm not gonna take that. I'm only gonna take the Three of Pentacles, and then let's see here. Everything is just out of order. Okay, so can I have one more for Scorpio? Singles, please. My lord. Okay. So I have a few. All right. So I am definitely feeling like you're going to be working really hard, Scorpio. For those of you, I'm seeing promotion here. So keep at it. And watch out for the manipulation as well. All right. So, so far we have the eight of pentacles. Yep. A position. You're going to get a call very, very soon. This is what I'm seeing. The judgment. Libra energy and then we have the two of cups in reverse you guys are like something about a separation here okay like you're not together the page of wands there is something that needs to be said here and then we have the four of swords and I feel like you're going to be ready to talk about this because you're going through some kind of like I need some time for myself. I need time to heal. And I felt like I saw like you were freeing yourself from manipulation. Yeah, you were freeing yourself from manipulation here. Okay, from this energy. All right, this page of pentacles. And I'm also feeling like you're going to be at work. So a lot of people are going to be looking up to you. This could be a job situation where people are jealous as well. And that's just the conflict there. You know, people try to cost you your money or cost you to stay at a, a, a level in this company. Like, they don't want you to move up, okay? And I feel like it's not going to work. This is what I'm hearing. So keep at it when it comes to your job here, all right? And you're going to be perfectly fine for those of you who are falling into some kind of depression, anxiety, because this person messed with your mind, I feel like someone is coming to you, um, Scorpio singles, and they're trying to like let you in on something, trying to tell you the truth about something, but I feel like this person is scared to lose you. Again, this is a page, a page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy. There's some kind of separation with this, with this person. Like you guys are just, it's like I'm getting bonded here, but at the same time, it was just very toxic and I feel like you guys either had this big argument and decided to stop talking to each other and just and moved on but there's no communication here I don't feel like you guys are together or you guys are speaking but I feel like there's some kind of like wanting to get back to where they were with you all right and then we also have the judgment and we also have the eight of pentacles. So this decision about this job, okay, Scorpio single, I feel like you don't need to worry about anything. It's set. Like you're going to get it. You're going to get that call. You're going to get that email for some of you who has been waiting for a position that you have did an interview on or wanted or was interested in. You're going to get this. I feel like a lot of people that are fighting against you with this situation because your angels are highly highly watching, waiting. Whoever needs to be judged is going to be judged when it comes to you by doing you wrong. So I feel like the angels just want me to let you know, like, don't worry about this. Don't even fight this energy. Nothing comes out, nothing good comes out of doing evil, right? So tell me about this. Whew, 
for Scorpio singles. I'm feeling this heavy feeling, Scorpio. I don't know what this is. Okay, so meditation bring answers. A lot of you need to really ask the angels. I feel like I'm getting someone that's worried, that is having anxiety. I feel like you're going to be counseled or helped, okay, by a lot of people around you. I'm seeing protection here. Like you're going to be protected or the angels feel like you need protection. There's going to be happiness for you, okay? But you just need to believe. Again, ask your angels. So your angels really want you to build a, a relationship with them, continue to pray, continue to heal, continue to believe that they, they are there. They're being judged, you guys. Look at that. Being called. Don't worry about anything. This is what I'm hearing. It's taken care of. Romance. Wow. New romance. Get ready, you guys. There is something coming. And like I said, this is... <laughs> I feel like this is what you wanted. Something stable. Something new. All right, I feel like you're gonna like this person. They're very emotional, and I feel like you are too. So it's like, but you know how to deal with that or to keep that under control. At least, at least some of y'all do. <laughs> Scorpios, you know, in us Scorpios, okay. All right, you need to start trusting yourself again. Um, I'm seeing a lot of like. Because what I'm getting here, because I feel like there's a lot of healing process that's, that's going on here with you, Scorpio singles. And you need to really connect to your spiritual side, your mental side, your physical side. Like these three steps needs to be aligned together um, so you can trust yourself again. Okay? Tell me more. Thank you. For Scorpio. Ooh, something flipped here. What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm really seeing something. Okay. Yep, there it is. I'm like, what is that? You're ready. Wow, that's what it is. You're ready. The angels want you to know. Like, you guys, you're ready for this. <laughs> angels, tell me more. What's going on for Scorpio singles? What messages you have for Scorpio singles? I'm seeing like protect yourself, Scorpios. That's what I'm seeing because there's deceit coming. There's a storm. There's always a storm with you. There's always change with you. Transformation with you. I'm hearing some people are just not in not there to be in your life forever tell me more okay so we have wow wow we talked about this intimacy and also creativity the angel your second chakra this is about you know being intimate with someone like of course a relationship is coming but you guys need to be careful if you don't want to create a life okay because the angels are around you to bless this okay <laughs> to bless this so make sure this is something that you want okay tell me more also we have doors to personal healing and happiness I just feel we're having confirmations of the same things the same cards even though it's different decks I feel like the angels are just enforcing this and telling you like hey I told you, this is what you need to work on. This is what's coming. Like, be prepared. <laughs> Just like the door to healing and happiness. I feel like you need to heal. The door is open for that. You And also by healing and trusting yourself again, you're going to have this happiness, this energy, this force of happiness within your life. So you're going to feel fulfilled, you know? 
this is what i'm feeling but those of you are feeling like you want to why is why am i getting this card a lot because that's the first thing we talked about wasn't it this eight of swords you're freeing yourself here but a lot of you feel like you're still trapped in this situation like you're not yet exiting the door like you're checked out mentally but you're not really out Hmm. Tell me more. That's why you need to heal. Look at number 36, 23, 34. There are so many things that the angels want you to try. You have possibilities. Okay, number 25, 24, excuse me. And the angels definitely just want you to do what you desire. I'm hearing don't live for others, live for yourself. Tell me more. Walking away again, but looking back. What? Okay. Walking away, but looking back. And I feel like we had that, didn't we? We had the eight of swords, like eight of cups. I'm tripping. Am I tripping? Because the angels are saying you are not sure. It's like a lot of you are walking away from something, number 27, and you're looking back like you're just not sure. One foot in, one foot out the door. Okay. Let me just use this one real quick. Tell me more about this for Scorpio singles. Like this energy, why am I getting Scorpio that this energy, it's like you want to leave, but it's like really, really hard for you. Um, for some of you, this could be a family situation where you just can't cut ties like that. You're going to always see them. They're going to always be in your energy. Even if you're not in the same room together, you're going to hear about this person. Or you're going to see this person on family events. Uh, I'm just like seeing like it's not that easy. Like, because you're saying you're leaving, but you're still trapped. Okay? Flexibility. So I feel like there's someone, like, trying to make some kind of way towards you. I don't know. It's like to cause drama. I really don't feel like this is... I feel like there's always an opportunist. Like, there's always an opportunity with this person's energy to try to mess with your energy. Okay. You know, like, how tigers, they they um, stalk? That's what I'm getting from this. Like, there you have a stalker following you, and you don't even know it. Flexibility. Okay. Look at that. Cards are just flying up. Okay. Relaxation. We also have courage. There's totally a storm coming for you. Potential, potential, okay? So I feel like there is going to be drama coming towards your life. Just like we have flexibility, we have potential here as well, where I feel like there is going to be some kind of openness for this person to come to you, come in your situation, try to make drama here, and this is what you have to deal with. Okay. And then I'm feeling like the courage card. There's going to be a lot coming towards you when it comes to your peace, when it comes to your state of mind, when it comes to what's important to your space. And this person is going to force themselves into your space. This is what I'm seeing. But I feel like you need to focus on your mental um, status, okay? And make sure that this person don't get you crazy in the Eight of Swords like this person normally does. And I see that you have the potential to, to get out of it, Scorpio, and just like be checked out of this energy. But I feel like the angels just want you to be aware of this. You know what I mean? Because I feel like this is what's coming. This storm is coming, like these waves. I'm hearing ride the waves, you guys, with strength. Have courage. There's going to be, you know, victory at the end. <laughs> Trust your intuition in the moon. Okay? Don't let this phase you. This is what I'm hearing. Whew. All right. So focus on your mental status, you guys, and don't let this person get to you. But this is what I have for you. 
this was a little difficult for me to read today. I don't know what's going on, but hope it resonates some way to help you that get closure, you guys. And if it did, then, you know, like the video. But if not, I will have the playlist linked below in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next read. Bye, guys.